Hey everyone, I'm Silver. Hey guys, I got some breaking news. So, I'm here on the Vanguard Wiki as you can see here, hopefully. And, I have a very interesting video. So, as you guys know, well, maybe you don't know, I have to go over the release schedule soon, but um, the Clan Nubatama is getting a trial deck with a new t keyword um, known as Domination. And it will be in the trial deck, G trial deck 13 roller of the evil eye. Um, it allows the player, it allows the player to treat their opponent's units as their, as their, um, as their own, preventing their opponent from using that units while allowing the player to attack, but not intercept or boost. That unit as well, allowing the player to use its abilities. So what's that mean? As of right now, from what it looks like, domination is essentially your opponent can still attack the unit, but no longer can intercept or boost with it and can't use its skills. This is good, but let's continue on down the page. So how does the skill work? When the ability is activated, the player with the dominating domination T keyword will treat the unit as his or her is the master of that unit. What's that mean? So when you take control of the unit, you become the master of that unit. Um, the unit under the uh, this effect is treated as dominated state, and the master is treated as dominating master. The former master of that unit is referred to as the original master. So guys, with that, and I mean, if you don't understand, that, essentially means you're playing up against a new Nubatama player, and they use this keyword domination on, say, your front row rear guard. That means they now control your unit. They can use its skills, but you can't. You can still attack with it. You can no longer intercept or guard with it, which can really cripple some decks. But we'll just continue forward for now and see what else happens. Um, the unit in the dominated state is not treated by its original master or his or her rear guard. This will cripple um, some formations like paladins. I can see this having an effect on blaster decks, um, Gurgwit decks that use uh, the Gurgwit stride, the old one. Um, if a legion mate is in dominated state, so is so do the legion. What's this mean? So I'm assuming that there's going to be cards that allow you to dominate a vanguard, and in doing so, your opponent is only going to be able to attack with their vanguard and not activate skills. Um. If a legion, yep. So, if we continue reading, if the dominated unit has automatic ability, the dominating player will play that ability. That means you can sort of do stuff from what it sounds like. Um, say your opponent uses a great nature rear, rear great nature deck, and they're using Crane Tiger that has an auto skill once per turn when it attacks a vanguard choose a rear guard, give it 4k, and turn it retires, draw a card. So if you have a rear guard you don't want to be retired, when you attack with Crane Tiger to the Vanguard, the dominating master can choose the rear guard you don't want and use its skills. He can basically force you to use skills you didn't plan on using, which is actually really good for Nubatama. It needed a boost in my opinion. Um, if the dominating unit gets locked or deleted, it is no longer dominated, which is good. So there's a way to counter it. Messiahs will be able to counter this effect by locking themselves. Um, but from what it looks like, stride doesn't affect it. So even if you stride, I think it still counts as being dominated. So that might actually be a problem for Gear Chronicle. Because if you can't use its skills, then... It's gonna have lost. It's gonna have a hard time. Um, but continuing on, if a unit is dominated, its zone is now referred to the dominating player's point of view. So we'll continue because it gets. It's hard to explain that one. If it's in the left column of the original master, it's now in the right column of the dominant player. So there are specific cards that say choose a column. 
and those feud cards only have to be in certain columns so that's why it would be in the right or left because actually sitting across from each other your right and left are different right I think so yeah I think so yeah, I believe so so that's why it's like that uh, when a circle changes masters it is considered to be neither players front nor back row so if I can't control the unit in your front left column that now becomes my circle and it's not treated as my front row nor is it treated as your front or back row it's just can treat it as my circle which actually could probably work in a few deck builds actually I don't see that having any effect in Numatama scratch that from the list if the if the unit if the dominated unit moves due to a card effect so this is what happens if it moves if it moves to a non-circle zone, it moves to the area area of the owner of that card. So, say you have a skill that allows it to, or allow is allows it to be bounced to like the guard circle instead of intercepting. Why well, I don't know. Uh, then it would go to your in, into your guard circle, not mine. Or drop zone, hand, so on and so forth. If the circle if it moves to a circle, the master of the car of that circle and the owner of that card are different. The move the move will not be carried out. So you can't move a unit back a circle. So say you have a grade one in your front row and I dominate it, you can't move it to the back row at all. Nor I think this also negates effects that say move it to another spot. I'm not entirely sure. Um, if any of you really can figure this out, please let me know. Comment if you also know more news on this as it comes out. I actually can't wait to play this trial deck. Um, if a Vanguard, if a dominated Vanguard is attacking, the drive check is done by placing the top card of the dominating player's deck into the dominating player's trigger zone. Wait. Uh, the dominated unit cannot boost nor intercept. We know that. If the dominated vanguard is attacked and the drive check is done by placing the top card of the dominating player's deck huh that might actually be bad uh, you cannot call or ride on a dominated unit if the circles master is different from its owner so essentially I could take control of your vanguard you can't ride on it but I have to perform the drive checks with my own cards this is gonna be a very weird skill um, let's see what the comments have to say. Uh, ignore that. And let's just pause that altogether. So, ooh, they also have a card here. Um, my computer died on me. I just got a new one, so I'm back on the wiki. Nope. So what you're telling me is I can still balance my remainders to hand. That's good. My Saya, as always, should have an easy time with this. Messed up. Did not expect this. Uh, okay, this might actually be convince me to build a new Matama. News, good news is uh, there isn't really a lot of news here. Um, let's see what the new Batama unit is because that was here. Have they posted it? Okay, so here's the new Batama unit. Um, can okay to be able to see that in full screen I don't know how black moon does this he gets to see these in full screen okay so that's what the unit looks like okay by unit um, at the beginning of your right phase you may choose a card from your opponent's drop zone if you do your opponent calls that unit to rear guard at the end of a turn retire for that unit and its second skill is secret huh so guys, um, that's the new new Batama units, uh, Demon Stealth Dragon Sure, Shero. I can't pronounce that, but I'm gonna be staying up to date on this, guys. Hopefully, we'll get some new news leakage on this. Um, and if you guys are wondering, the link is up here. Pause the video now, and then there's the trial deck. I thought that was gonna open in a new tab, so we'll be keeping an eye on this trial deck. It looks like we got one we got some units look out for the video covering those units coming up later this week i will see you all later i've been the silver wolf silver wolf and peace